Hi there and welcome back, friends of a thoughtful gaming experience. This is your host Emmanuel Kern and we're back to our let's play and explore Torment Tides of Numenera. Uh, we're in Sega's Cliffs and uh, exploring what's going on here. There are rumors of a Stichus responsible for all this breaking down of houses that has intensified for all the stuff that has gone wrong and there's also some things that these orphans may have found which some of the um, cultists told me so uh, what is this Dendra or her cultist doing there? I smell a feast nearby, don't you? What's that? Judging by the tiles, shingles and bricks in the piles, they appear to be remnants of buildings that have collapsed in the area, moved here like dust swept under a rug. Let's talk to the children first. Avina. A little girl sits outside a crumbling old house playing the flute. She wears a simple dress and her golden hair falls to her shoulders. The melody she plays is gentle and soft, but it somehow carries to every corner of the street. As you approach, she stops playing and smiles up at you with large green eyes. Shins for a song, ma'am. Uh, yeah, well, how much? It's three shins for a sad song and five for a happy one. Why are sad songs cheaper than happy songs? Because there are more of them, ma'am. Hmm. Can you play me a sad song now? Thank you, ma'am. This one will break your heart. Girl lowers her flute and looks up at you. Do you want me to play another? You can play me a happy song now. Thank you, ma'am. This one should give you a lift. Ask you some questions now, poor girl. Uh, first, someone saw children playing in the ruins of a collapsed house. Was that you? She nods unashamed. That was Zab and me. He got some food that would have gone bad anyway. I found something even better. Her lower lipstick's out, but it's mine. Uh, you don't have to show me, but can you tell me what it was? It's okay, she says. I'll show you. She takes something small out of her pocket and shows it to you. It looks like a small metallic cube. There is something off about the geometry, as if you weren't quite seeing it in perspective. It's a trick box. I don't know why, but it just felt right when I picked it up. She twists it gently this way and that, but the box remains sealed. You can faintly hear something rattling about inside. I haven't figured out how to open it yet, but I will. That's not yours. I have to return it to it. It's rightful owner. I didn't steal it. I found it. She snatches it back. But after a second, she slumps and holds it out again. But I guess it's if it's somebody else's, then they should have it. It's for a good cause, I promise you. She sniffs a little as you take the box. Okay. I'll try to help her more. Let's see. Poor girl here. The Sorrow's Prey. We gained the interdimensional puzzle box. Um, have you ever heard of the House of Empty Time? It's a place where children with no family can go to find parents who love them shakes her head. I don't need to go to a place like that. This is my home. Is this your house who lives here? Zeb and Nim and I live here, but it's their father's house. He's away. She looks back at the house. I wish he'd come back and fix it. I think it's going to fall down soon. The house is in bad shape. 
She points to cracks around the base of the walls. Those weren't here before. And they're getting wider. We don't go inside anymore, except to wash or dress. Then we come right back out. Where did Zeb's father go then? He said he was going to work for someone named the Memovira in the bloom. He was going to be a guard. She purses her lips. He said he would come back every now and then, but he hasn't. I don't know what's happened to him. Tell me about Zeb and Nim. They're my friends. They miss their dad a lot, but we still have fun. Zeb watches out for us, and I'm teaching Nim to play the flute. Tell me about yourself now, Arena. I was from outside the city, but I've been here with Zeb and Nim since before their dad went away. So now I'm from here. Tell me a story again. I used to be from outside the city, now I'm from here. All right. Nothing new. Do you know who lived in the house next door? There was a lady named Skora there. She was a nano sorceress, but a nice one. She let us look at all the things in her workshop. Well, almost everything. There was a room where she said she kept the iron wind. We weren't allowed in there. She frowns. I think maybe something bad happened to her. One day she wasn't there anymore and she didn't say goodbye. You said that a woman named Skora used to live next door. She was a nano sorceress or maybe a witch. I think she got in trouble. She went away one night and never came back. One night, so okay. What do you know about the iron wind? Just that Skora thought it was dangerous. We never saw it, though. She shrugs. Maybe she was just pretending there was something bad in that room. I don't know. Um. All right, thank you and farewell. Well, let's talk to Zeb now. Hi there, boy. The boy in rags holds out a hand as you pass. He is far too gaunt for his age. His knuckles stand out on his fingers like knots on a twig. Any shins for a family need. And we're intellectuals, but yeah, these are children, poor children. Yeah. Give him five shins. That's okay. Thank you, ma'am. Good fortune to you. So, um, is this your house? It doesn't look safe. We know. That's why we stay outside most of the time, ever since Avina noticed some cracks around the walls. We go n only go in there to change clothes and stuff. Someone saw you scavenging in the collapsed house near the chirurgery. Did you find anything? I didn't, but I think Avina did. He covers his mouth. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. You're not going to take it away from her, are you? Um, of course not. I was just asking. Ooh, of course she loves that thing. Um, tell me about your family. He ducks his head. Yes, ma'am. There's five, sorry, four of us, counting my father. But he's gone to the bloom and we don't know when he'll be back. I'm Zepp and he points toward a little girl kicking a rock in a circle and an older girl who plays a flute. You notice they look considerably more well-fed than Zepp. That's Nim, my little sister, the girl with the flute is Avina. She's not actually our sister, but she's still family. And there's no one else, that's it. So that... That's... Four? Alright, okay. Um, tell me about your father. What's his name? How long has he been in the blue? His name is Zeb too. Zebak Uralao, and it... It's been a year, at least. He went to work for the Memovira. For a while he sent shins back, but then they stopped. Haven't heard from him since. He squirms, uncomfortable. The bloom's like that, though. Sometimes it doesn't let anything out. I figure he's just waiting till it opens up again. Hmm. What do you know about the bloom? My dad always called it the skist hole, but he said it was a skist hole full of shins, so... He was gonna pull up his boots and wade in. He shrugs. I don't know much else about it. They say it's a monster and people live inside. You can see it from the caravanserai, but they don't let anybody down there. Well, they didn't let me down there anyway. What do you know about the Memovira? She's the boss in the bloom, the mayor of something. My dad works for her. He's one of her guards. All right, uh, isn't him okay? The, the little girl here. This life must be hard on her. 
She's okay, doesn't know anything else really. She misses our dad though. His eyes cloud. She never knew our mum, so at least she doesn't miss her. Tell me about Avina. She's been with us since before dad left, but she's never said where she came from. Maybe she doesn't know. He looks across at Avina. I'm glad she's here. She notices things. Better look out than I am. And she catches a lot of shins with that flute of hers too. Remind me what you know about her. Not much. She showed up a few years ago and lived with us and our get it dad never says anything about where she came from. So she's, she's from that house of empty time too, probably. Let me ask you something else. Alright, ma'am. I know of a doorway that will take you to a new family. It's called the House of Empty Time. We're not orphans. Our dad works in the bloom. He's coming back. Scan thought unless he's... No, he's definitely coming back. Alright, we won't... We won't urge them. Farewell and thank you. Good fortune to you, madam. Let's talk to Nim now. A little girl in a patched tunic kicks a pebble in a circle while reciting in a sing-song voice Joy, 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 sorrow, joy, sorrow, joy, 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 joy. Watch her play first. Joy, yay! She looks up at you. I got five in a row. She shrinks back as she realizes she's talking to someone she doesn't know. M my brother usually talks to all the strangers. Can I ask you some questions? She glances over the little boy begging for it for change nearby, I guess. Tell me about the game you're playing first. It's called Sorrow and Joy. I made it up. She starts kicking the pebble again, first with her left foot, then with her right. You have to kick the rock left, right, left, right, without stopping. That's joy. If you kick it twice with the same foot, that's sorrow. Five joys in a row means you win. Five sorrows in a row, you lose. Hmm. Is there any reason you use the word sorrow? I don't know, I just like it. Sorrow, sorrow, joy, joy, joy. Um, hmm. What's your name? Is this your house? My name's Nin, and this is my daddy's house, but he's not home right now. Only me and Zab and Davina and Mittens the Monster live here now. We're waiting for daddy to come back. Tell me about Zab. Zeb is my big brother. He takes care of us. He has a knife. Who's Awina? She's my sister. Who isn't a sister? She plays the flute. Where's your father? He's in the bloom being a watchman. He's coming back any day now. Who is Mittens the monster? He's our friend who lives in the alley. He... Zeb turns toward Nim suddenly. Nim, I told you not to talk about Mittens. He looks at you with a sheepish grin. Sorry, ma'am. Mittens is Nim's imaginary friend. He doesn't really exist. Maybe I can answer your questions. Nim nods. Yeah, Zeb knows everything. All right, but I want to know more. Uh, the little girl is still playing her strange rock kicking game, but the words are different now. Up, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, 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 up. Yay! Can I ask you some questions? If you want. Your game has new worlds. Did you change the rules? Yes, it's an all new game. She kicks the pebble. Now, if you do it right five times, your host stays up. If you do it wrong five times, it falls down. Makes it scarier. Uh, <laughs> okay, interesting. Um, have you ever heard of a place called the House of Empty Time? It's for little girls and boys who don't have fathers and mothers. Her eyes bug out. Is it jail? I don't want to go to jail. I have a father. She runs and hides behind her big brother. Zeb, she wants to take me to the house of empty eyes. Her brother catches her and hugs her. Easy, Nim. You're not going anywhere, don't worry. He looks up at you. Sorry, ma'am. She gets scared sometimes. Maybe you should talk to me. Nim sticks her tongue out of you. Mini! Let's try this again. And... Can I ask you about your neighbors around here? Don't have many neighbors anymore. Most of them went down the... Brother stands. I can answer your questions, ma'am. Ask me. Nim nods. Yeah, Seb knows everything. All right. Um, so enough about that. We have talked to Seb already. Or maybe we have new new things to talk about. 
Let's see. The boy salutes you as you approach. Good to see you again, ma'am. How can I help you? Well, uh, it's enough for now. Thank you, Zeb. Good fortune to you, madam. So, uh, thank you for watching this little conversation we had. It was, I think, quite interesting. And uh, next time we're going to explore this area, there will be... Maybe we'll find Mittens the monster up there. As they said, the Mittens lives up the alley. Oh, Nim said that. So, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please come again and watch. Or rather, here in that case. It's a great story and one can enjoy it. So, uh, happy gaming to you. See you in the next episode. This is Emmanuel Kahn signing out.